Respite is a covered service uh, for those receiving behavioral health services in the state of Arizona. Anyone who has access automatically gets 600 hours of respite a fiscal year. So essentially what it means is giving kids a break. And so they come here, you know, in a positive environment and um, having a good time. Families get tired. You know, and so we work with parents, we work with grandparents, we work with foster parents, we work with adoptive parents, the whole spectrum. And so essentially what it is, is to preserve families by providing that break in a safe and positive environment. We've had families tell us that, you know, that if it weren't for respite, that they would not be together. We've had parents on the verge of divorce because they just, they were all about their child and they were all about their child and they forgot themselves in a relationship and bringing them, you know, every Saturday for a few hours so they can rekindle their marriage, you know, is huge and it's a huge difference. Or the fact that we can keep a grandmother sane, you know, one time a month, you know, so she can keep her grandkids um, and not feel like she's not being supported and that's awesome. Like a lot of the kids you see back here have been with us for years. They treat it as if it were their own house. And when they come here, we try to keep them in the same bedrooms that they've been in. So they feel like, oh, this is like kind of my bedroom and this is kind of like my spot. We try and cook for the kids and the kids help with that project. So they'll bake with us, they'll help, you know, prep things. And then we're teaching them essentially like those minor life skills while they're with us. Don't be afraid um, to ask for help and to advocate for services such as respite when you're in a CFT team meeting with your case managers, with DCS, and to say that you need support.